In this video, we're going to discuss the economics of fracking, which is a really good way to understand how supply and demand works in a real market. So first of all, fracking stands for hydraulic fracturing, and it's basically a way that companies will drill a well into the ground, and then they will spray water and sand and other items into shale rock, right? So there'll be this shale rock formation, and they break up they break up the shell rock and they're going to be able to extract oil and natural gas, right? So this natural gas is important because natural gas can be used to heat people's homes or to power air conditioning and so forth. So we're going to have some really interesting uh, economic effects from this increase in supply of natural gas. So basically because we have this new technology, if we think about the market for natural gas, we're actually going to have a shift in our supply curve, right? So I've got our supply curve here, and then we've got our downward so, uh, sloping demand curve here. And so our supply curve, because we have a new technology that allows for more production of natural gas, our supply curve is going to shift, and we're going to have it shift to the right. Okay, so I'm just going to put S2. That's our new supply curve. Now, previously, our equilibrium, our equilibrium was right here, and our old price was here, and our old quantity of, of natural gas was here, right? So this was the equilibrium amount. But now the equilibrium has shifted. Now the equilibrium is right here. See it? Where the, the supply curve number two intersects with the demand curve, right? So now we have this new equilibrium. So if we were to extrapolate this out, now we see that here we have our new price, and our new price is lower. See this? It's lower than our old price. So the price of natural gas is going to go down. So the price of natural gas is going to go down. And then if we extrapolate this here, we see our new quantity, right? So now there's going to be a higher quantity of natural gas that's uh, being produced in the market and, and consumed, right? So our price has gone down, and the quantity has gone up of natural gas, okay? Now, think about this practically. Coal is a substitute for natural gas, potentially, right? Because coal can also be used to heat homes, right? Let's just think, let's just focus on heating homes here, right? So in the United States, which I'm focusing on here because this is where fracking's had a really big impact in the United States, when we think about the market for, for natural gas and, and coal, we could use either one to heat people's homes. But if we have a situation where all of a sudden this new technology, this new technology is decreasing the price for natural gas, well, what is going to happen to the market for coal? Because if coal is a substitute, or we can think of natural gas as a substitute for coal, or either or, it doesn't matter, the idea is that now there's a substitute has become cheaper. So a substitute for coal has become cheaper. People can use natural gas instead of coal. The, the price of natural gas drops. What's that going to do to demand for coal, right? So with natural gas, we had a shift in the supply curve, right? So our supply curve shifted right. But now with, uh, with coal, we're actually going to be having a different kind of shift. We're going to have the demand curve. Here's our demand curve. Our demand curve is now going to shift left. Our demand curve is going to shift left. So see we've got here, we've got our new demand curve, D2. Okay, so now we, hit, we also have a new equilibrium. So our new equilibrium is going to be right here. Okay, before it was here, but now it's moved. Here's our, here's our equilibrium. So now we'll say our new price. So our new price of coal, here's our new price. It just corresponds to this equilibrium. And then, then we've got our new quantity of coal. And you see that the new quantity is lower than the old quantity and the new price is lower than the old price. So price of coal has gone down and then also the quantity at, at where the market's clear, right? This is our equilibrium. So what has happened here? We've seen that technology has made it easier, or, or to, to basically easier to produce a lot more natural gas, right? Because we've got this new technology where we can get natural gas out of shale rock. And because natural gas can be used to heat homes, it's displacing some of the coal, right? Because its price is dropping, right? We've got this big supply of natural gas. It's displacing some of the coal that used to be able, used to heat homes, 
right and so now now the price of coal and this this has all happened since the beginning of the 21st century right I mean, this is a devious time frame in the u.s so now the price of coal is plummeting and the quantity is plummeting so what is what has been happening well we've been having bankruptcies we've been having bankruptcies of coal firms right 